I think there are many coaches who coached Kaiser Chiefs which are no longer talking about Kaiser Chiefs and actually um, we're talking about uh, during this trophy drought but it seems like one of their um, former coaches we're talking about in Zeke Mlife still cares about Kaiser Chiefs I'm just suspecting maybe maybe you want to come back if you're new to the channel consider subscribe if you want to go further with the support you can also join my membership so according to the South African um, actually uh, talking about uh, this post magazine right now so they said that um, um, Nzeki Mlife gives a light about Kaiser Chiefs according to the situation which is really happening right now as he said you have a team that has uh, too many uh, players coming from other teams and you also took uh, their profile in terms of how they were played in those teams and how you want uh, to apply your game model he added uh, that technical and technical issues have become a very individualistic and I need time to correct Nzeki believes that Kaiser Chiefs should took uh, Mamelodi Sundowns for improvement inspiration uh, sundowns have played a successful style of football for years and Nsegi thinks that his a former uh, club could benefit from adopting the similar uh, method and also he went on by saying it is what uh, is it, it, it is what uh, noting that in the past seven years Amakosi has had uh, eight different coaches uh, none of the uh, nine former coach Kaza Chiefs coached uh, were able to win a single trophy during uh, the reign and also uh, that was Zekebli on the interview we are on it is key at times so let me just try to break down this one guys uh so what is the complete fair actually the more understanding what he's trying to saying is that uh why don't you guys achieve uh adopt um the way Mamelodi Sundowns the handling everything from the management to the players buying of players scouting and everything so right now we know because Chiefs they can spend as more as Mamelodi Sundowns are spending we know that on this general transfer we know Mamelodi Sundowns spend more than 100 and something million rand which if you calculate the players which they bought I think there are only four players they bought this season and they will cost a lot of money where we see because Chiefs they can even spend around 40 million even on uh, actually on a single player they won't do that actually they can spend maybe uh, around uh, 10 million each player if it's expensive or 12 million if it's expensive so especially on that point I think that was the game for trying to say that maybe it's better for because she's just play spend more money because we know that we make money to more uh, we spend money to make more money so you 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 spend money to buy quality players so that's why in game for is coming away with a uh, kind of such of those statement as you say that these uh, it's been nine years now none of those are uh, coaches uh, actually uh, win uh, any trophy but actually it started from the management I think that's where they need to solve first before buying players with an understanding guys which do you think Anzik Mlife missed on his statement on uh, it is key times or when he was heading on interview so is Anzik Mlife want to come back because he have been saying much about Kaiser Chiefs according to my own understanding it's not the first time I'll see you in my next lovely video peace